today we finally drop in this small block Chevy into our El Camino. We got some new engine mounts in here. We got our new engine mount bolts, and then also some new engine mounts on the engine. So we're going to maneuver our engine here into the engine bay, uh, try to get the pins lined up and get this attached to the transmission, and then slowly let it down on our engine mounts. Let's try going down with her. Oh, we do want to hook up the starter. A great idea as you're dropping your engine is to connect your starter. You just have better access before you get the engine bolted in place. You can totally hook up your starter later. It's just a little bit easier this way. I don't see anything really over here that's anything that I would, that I'm looking for. Shall we keep going down for real? We're going down for real. Yeah. Here she goes. If you don't have a twin brother, it's a great idea to invite down. a friend over to help with this process to have an extra set of eyes, hands, and muscle to maneuver your engine in the right spot. I'm not quite over this engine mount. I'm going to try going down a little bit and see if I can get it on the right side of this engine mount. Just going down. I wonder if I can go up a little higher with that transmission. Oh, she's, that's so close. This is where those extra hands, extra muscles, and extra eyes really come in handy because you're really going to need to shimmy, move things around to get everything to fit right. where I'm at. So let's let's go down. Should we grab some different camera angles here? All right, so we needed to lift up past these engine mounts. And now we are somewhat close to lined up with the transmission. So we just need to get those pins in and then we'll be good to put a couple bolts, two or three, maybe four, transmission to the engine and then drop on the engine mounts. Yeah, our engine is very much this way. So we'll, we'll have to just... Yeah, just a length or two this way. That would... Oh, there we go. I'm off the rubber piece. I am two, so now we want to go down. Yeah. There we go. I'm pretty close to get being on top of this engine mount. You're on that engine mount. Is that enough? Oh, Jake, come on. You want to take a look, see? Oh, yeah, I think we're closer. Oh, yeah, 100%. We're not binded. Oh, geez. So it's got to go down in your way. Because right now, I'm about two inches above where the pin needs to go. See that? This right here. Is, yep. needs to be lined up with that right there. So, so the engine needs to go down. Yeah. Someone needs to sit here like this yeah, and hold it twisted. We need to do the lift and twist, but try to, I need to try to keep this pin lined up. Keep just, okay, I'm in okay. and I'm just going to stay focused. That's it. That's it? No, I don't think so. Uh, I think the engine needs to go down a little bit in order for that passenger side to be lined up. So I'm going to stay focused on keeping this pin in and you apply pressure on that side. There we go. We're connected. Now we need to get a bolt in somewhere. Can you put a pressure on this side too? 
We've got our engine and transmission together. Yeah, now it's just getting a couple bolts to make sure it doesn't come apart. Left, and then I kind of want to try tightening it a little bit. Yeah. The other easy one will probably be underneath on that side. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go underneath here and try to get one more transmission bolt bolted up here. in the hole. All right, this side's pulled together. What are we doing on those engine mounts? There we go. There we go. You try it. I'm gonna go down here and see if I can reach this one now. Getting one more transmission bolt connected here for a little added safety. Okay, I got it pushed in. The bolts on the bottom were actually pretty easy to get to with a foot long extension and a universal joint. Yep, they're starting to come together. So we've got one bolt on top and the two on the bottom. Boom shakalaka. Now it's time to install our engine mount bolts to make sure that they're lined up before we get too far. No, there it goes. Hey. I can see it. Heck yeah, bro. I can see it. There's, dude, transmission's connected. Engine mount's in. Yeah. Jeez. I never thought I'd see the day. Well, let's get these, let's get the nuts on there. There she be. Lined up right there, a little bit of a gap. Hopefully it doesn't pull the torque converter out too much and cause her to leak a little bit more, but we're gonna put that one on, spin it over a little bit more, we'll put all three of them, and uh, we'll be good to go with this torque converter. These torque converter bolts were an absolute pain. We got two of them in, rolled to the last one, and we couldn't quite get the third one in there. And we ended up actually cross-threading a little bit. So we did have to pull the engine back out and try test out our flex plate to make sure everything lined up. And it was off by just the slightest amount. Just off by a skosh. Why? So we took a drill, we reamed them out a little bit, put the flex plate back on there, and now we're reinstalling the engine. So we're getting we're getting our reps in here. It's getting a lot easier. And uh, let's hope we can get that uh, flex plate bolted to that torque converter. It's all over. Shut up. Shut the front door. Shut the front door. That's all awesome, bro. Yes. Oh. Time to call it a night. I want to try squeezing those headers in there, but yeah. Oh yeah, we should definitely do that. If you guys like this video, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on notifications because you're really going to want to check out our next few videos as we continue to install this Chevy 350. If you like the Mino Camino, don't forget you can always check out the playlist in the upper left and we'll catch you guys next time on the Roy Garage.